Hi everyone, I'm Kent with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is a setup video for the Monster Parallelogram Tripod Binocular Mount. Here it is in its completed form, but uh, we're going to start with it in its pieces as you get it out of the box and go from there. Alright, let's get started. When you open the box, these are the parts you're going to find. On the right side is the tripod, next to it is the parallelogram itself, and then the counterweight shaft, and then in front you've got two counterweights, the tripod accessory tray, and the L bracket to hold the binoculars to the parallelogram. The first step is to take the tripod, open it up, and place it relatively flat, so just eyeball flat on your ground. Next, the parallelogram mount itself attaches to the top of the tripod. Note the notch cut out in the base plate that goes around the stud coming out of the tripod. Place it on and tighten it down with the large thumb wheel from below. Next, the counterweight shaft threads into the parallelogram head right here. After putting the parallelogram head on, take the tripod tray and attach it to the bottom of the tripod by taking off the large thumb wheel. Placing the tray on the shaft and then reinstalling the washer and the thumb wheel. Tighten it up, spread the legs all the way until you have it snug. Next, the counterweights. Since you don't have a binocular up on top, when you install the counterweights, slide them all the way up towards the top and make sure the parallelogram is in its highest position. That way it won't surprise you and, and come down on the side. Unscrew the little toe saver on the bottom. Slide the counterweight on. One may be enough depending on how much weight you're going to be putting on top or you can use both. And then attach the toe saver again afterwards. The handle installs into the head uh, in either of two positions, down on the bottom, just thread it in. There's also a hole for the handle up on top, uh, and that just depends on if you want the lock knob for the L-bracket on uh, the front side or on the back side, you can have the handle down here. Now the L-bracket is attached to the top of the parallelogram. It's a dovetail, so simply slide it in and tighten down the bolt. Now you're ready for the binoculars. They attach using the quarter twenty screw in the L bracket. Tighten down the thumb knob and then at the end tighten down this lever on the side. That really just helps uh, place it solidly in position and it won't uh, go loose on you. After you've got the binoculars attached, uh, then it's time to see if you're balanced correctly. So just grab the top of it and move it down and carefully let go and see if it raises up or, or lowers down on its own. Right now it looks like it's nice and balanced. Uh, if you're using a heavier binocular, you would have to slide the counterweights down a little bit to balance out uh, both sides. All right, well there you have it. The binocular is ready to go. You've got a, a very wide range of motions up, down, left and right. The parallelogram goes up and down. Uh, this is a perfect position if you were going to be sitting in a chair to be observing. So you can bring it off to the side of the tripod, sit in a chair and use it for astronomy. Uh, if I wanted to be standing up and view, uh, well this is a little low so I'd want to raise the tripod legs up, but I can certainly get it high enough to view uh, at six feet and then bring it down for some uh, uh, smaller kids possibly to view. Right, there you have it. Thank you very much. Clear skies.